it's by the same person that did uh, that uh, had the um, Albert and the Lion that I did uh, two months ago, but it's not not as humorous. Our aunt Hannes passed away. We had a funeral today, and it was a posh affair. Had to have two policemen there. The earth was lovely, all plate glass, and what a coffin, oak and brass. With farthings weeping, far class galore. But Jim, our cousin, what do you think he wore? Why, brown boots. I ask you, brown boots. Fancy coming to a funeral in brown boots. I will admit he had a nice black tie, black fingernails and a nice black eye, but you can't see people off when they die in brown boots. An aunt had been so very good to him, done all that any mother could for him, and Jim, her son, to show his class, rolls up to make it all a farce in brown boots. I ask you, brown boots? while all the rest wore decent black and mourning suits. I only didn't seem so gay, in fact, he cried best part of the way, but straight, he regular sport our day with his brown boots. In the graveyard, we left Jim, none of us said much to him. Yes, we all give him the bird, then, by accident, we heard he'd given his black boots to Jim Small, a bloke what had no boots at all. So, perhaps Aunt Hanno doesn't mind. She did like people who were good and kind. But brown boots, I ask you, brown boots. Fancy coming to a funeral in brown boots. And we could uh, hear their neighbours all remark, What, him chief mooner, what a blooming lark. Why, he looks more like a bookmaker's clerk in brown boots. That's why we had to be so rude to him. That's why we never said I would do to him. We didn't know. He didn't say. He'd give his own black boots away. But brown boots, I ask you, brown boots, while all the rest wore decent black and morning suits. But some day, up at heaven's gate, poor Jim, all nerves, will stand and wait, till an angel whispers, come in, mate, where's your brand?